Good morning. It's uh, so good to be back in Kodiak, back home, uh, and uh, to be walking around the, the familiar places and uh, seeing the familiar sights and hearing uh, the sounds that, that mean home. And uh, just returned from a fantastic and, and blessed trip uh, across Spain and uh, so much to reflect on on that journey. And one of the things that I was so struck by was a better understanding of, of God's grace. And sometimes God's grace is poured out in incredible abundance, his saving grace, that, uh, that uh, salvation that he pours out onto us. Uh, or in uh, grace and his uh, abundant healing or relief from uh, a difficult situation. But Paul, uh, Paul sought after God three times to have what's referred to as the thorn in his flesh removed. And we don't know what that thorn was. And I think that's intentional biblically because if we knew what it was, we could say, well, that was Paul's problem, that's mine. By, by not identifying it, we can all identify with Paul. There is something we want removed from our lives. There is something that is a difficulty that just seems to not go away. And Paul uh, understood that God's grace was sufficient for him. It was sufficient for him. God was not going to remove that hardship, but was going to provide him uh, the sufficiency to get from day to day. And that was something I learned on my journey. As, uh, uh, in 35 days, I averaged about uh, 14 miles of walking each day. And about mile nine, I would come to uh, this uh, horrendous uh, foot pain uh, that was incredibly difficult. And by the time I finished my walking each day, I recognized that there was really no way I could get up and walk again the next day. But yet, each day, God provided just enough healing that I could step out on the journey again. Enough grace for the day. Enough grace for the situation. God's grace was sufficient. Of course, I wanted God's abundant grace. I wanted healing from that situation. I wanted relief from that situation. But each and every day, God provided a way to continue on. And one of the most unique things about that journey was that very often God provided grace in other ways. When that pain came up, when that difficulty came up, walking alongside someone else and talking with them, the pain of the trail went away. The distraction of being with others, the, the uh, beauty of sharing with others uh, was its own grace and allowed for the journey to continue. So my friends, whatever you're facing today, if it's a chronic hardship in your life, if it's a, a one-time situation that you want relief from, remember God's grace is sufficient to get you through the day. Oh, continue to pay, pray for God's abundant grace that he'll relieve you from that. But tap into every day God's sufficient grace and find those around you who God has set around you who can help you carry that load part of his abundant and sufficient grace. May God bless you. I hope you know the grace of God and his incredible salvation.